All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over long tail keywords. So I'm gonna give you some long tail keyword examples, uh, really what long tail keywords are, um, and then some best practices for targeting long tail keywords in your pay-per-click advertising campaigns, specifically through Google ads, but it will apply to Bing ads as well. And then also long tail keywords for search engine optimization. So we're gonna get right into it. So what are long tail keywords? So long tail keywords are longer variations of popular short tail keywords. So basically what long tail keywords are is if you took short tail keywords and you kind of added some subcategories to them, that's basically how you come up with long tail keywords. And I'm gonna go through a ton of examples so they can really make more sense. Um, but really what they are is they're a little bit more specific of keyword phrases. So when people are typing in long tail keywords, they're generally more specific and they don't usually have as much search volume for that reason. Um, so there's a few benefits for them. Um, they are easier to rank because they have less competition, whether it's pay-per-click advertising campaigns, whether it's search engine optimization, usually not as many advertisers or marketers are optimizing for long tail keywords as much as they are for short tail keywords. So you generally start with short tail keywords and you start to branch off of those. Um, they're more specific so they can help improve conversion rates on your website. And then last but not least, you can provide better solutions for potential customers by optimizing for long tail keywords on your website. So I'm gonna start with a few examples. We're gonna start in the Google Keyword Planner. So I open the Google Keyword Planner here. Um, if you're not sure how to get to the Google Keyword Planner, you open your Google Ads account. So you can sign up with a Google account and then you just come to Tools over here and you go to the Keyword Planner. So if you look here, I just entered a couple keywords at the top, beach furniture and coastal furniture. So those, those are both short tail keywords. So as we scroll down here, you can see pretty much all of these top keywords. I ranked it by average monthly searches. Um, all of these top keywords are pretty much short tail keywords. So coastal living room, coastal coffee table, beach house furniture. I would consider all of those to be short tail keywords. Now there's no general rule when it comes to long tail keywords where they have to have four words or more or anything like that. It's really a matter of intent and what people are looking for. So as we scroll down a little bit more here, you can see coastal dining room sets. You're starting to get closer to kind of what a long tail keyword is. So we're gonna keep scrolling down here a little bit more because I have a few good examples. Okay, so as we scroll down here, you can see a good example right here. So round coastal coffee table. So if I said coffee tables, that would be a short tail keyword. Uh, beach coffee tables, coastal coffee tables, I would still consider those to be short tail keywords. Now it becomes more of a long tail keyword when someone's looking specifically for round coastal coffee tables. So what you can do on your website is if you see something like this that has 320 average monthly searches, um, you can say, I'm gonna create a page that just talks about round coastal coffee tables. And if you optimize specifically for that keyword, whether it's creating a product section on your website or creating just a post on your website that just lists a bunch of round coastal coffee tables for sale. And you can apply this to any of your own pages. Um, what that's gonna help you do is Google's gonna see your page and say, okay, this page is really about this one long tail keyword. You have a good amount of average monthly searches here. And when people click through, they're gonna see a huge list of round coastal coffee tables, which is exactly what they're looking for. Whereas someone who's looking for coffee tables, that's really open-ended. So there's so many different styles, there's so many different shapes, there's so many different pricing options that you really don't know what people are looking for, which is why it's good to optimize for long tail keywords. So we're gonna keep scrolling down here a little bit. I'll give you a few more examples. Okay, so another good example here. So we entered coastal furniture at the top here. So one option is coastal bedroom furniture. So I would still consider that to be a short tail keyword, coastal bedroom furniture. But when you start adding something like white coastal bedroom furniture, you know that people are specifically looking for white furniture that would go in a bedroom in a beach home. So it's a different way to kind of look at long tail keywords. A quick break from our video so I can let you know about my favorite marketing tool, SpyFu. If you go to surfsideppc.com slash SpyFu, you can enter a competitor's website, you can enter your own website, and you're gonna be able to see the most profitable keywords, both organic keywords and paid keywords. And the best part of all is pricing starts at just $39 per month for the monthly plan and goes all the way down to $33 a month if you choose to be billed annually. So go to surfsideppc.com slash spyfu and find profitable keywords to help you grow your business today. Now back to the video. Now you don't have to optimize and create pages for each individual 
long tail keyword, what you could do, for example, let's say I had a page about coastal dining room sets. I could just make sure that I have this type of keyword on the page. So coastal dining room sets for sale, and that's going to help with your search engine optimization efforts. So if you're trying to rank for something like coastal bedroom furniture, coastal dining room sets for sale, what you can do is just come to the top here. So let's say I want to rank for coastal bedroom furniture. I can come to the top here. I'll get rid of these keywords and we'll go coastal bedroom furniture. And now when you do that, Google is going to pull the most relevant keywords to that keyword that you searched. So we can come back to the top here. We can sort it rather than average monthly searches. We can sort it just by keyword relevance. So now you're going to be able to see coastal bedroom furniture, beach bedroom furniture, coastal nightstands, bedroom sets, beach house bedroom furniture. So you don't have to create individual pages for each of these different keywords. You can create them for some of them. So for example, coastal nightstands, you can create its own page, link to it from your coastal bedroom furniture page. And you can also include all of these different keywords on your page so that when people are searching these keywords, they can really find your piece of content. So that's one way to optimize for long tail keywords is to make sure you're including them on your pages as you're creating content, uh, maybe even if it's product category pages, so you have subcategory pages, you can make sure you're including all these different keywords that people are actively typing in. So that's really one way to optimize for search engine optimization. And then you'll see as we scroll down here a little bit, white coastal dressers. So just another long tail keyword, I would consider that, even though it's only three words there, that's why I don't really put any type of number on how many words need to be in a keyword phrase in order for for it to be considered a long tail keyword. It's really just kind of subcategorizing these short tail keywords like beach furniture, coastal furniture, then coastal dressers, I would consider to be a subcategory of coastal bedroom furniture, white coastal dressers. So now you're really getting into something that's really specific that people are looking for. So now I'm gonna go over to a pay-per-click advertising example. So I'm gonna open up my account for farmhouse goals. So I open up this here. So what we've done is I've opened up my search campaign. We can look at the search keywords first. So all the search keywords that I'm targeting are all short tail keywords. You do wanna add long tail keywords to your search campaigns because it's gonna help you optimize your quality score for all of these different keywords. Um, so I can say, okay, I'm gonna open my campaign, open up keywords, look at the search keywords, and we're just gonna look all time here and we're gonna click on search terms. So we look at our search terms here and you can see the top search terms are all gonna be short tail keywords, farmhouse cabinets, farmhouse sink, farmhouse shelves. But as we scroll down a little bit, so we'll get a little bit further down, you can see farmhouse cabinet with sliding barn doors. So that's a perfect example of a long tail keyword. And then what I can do is, let's say I create a page on my website that only features farmhouse cabinets with sliding barn doors. I have a list of products on the page. What I can do is just create a new ad group here and do farmhouse cabinets, sliding barn doors, and make sure I'm targeting different this keyword and different variations of this keyword. Because you can see, even if I'm getting only 45 impressions, that's enough to start optimizing for so that I can really improve my click-through rate and making sure that when people are going to my page, they're not just visiting a page with farmhouse cabinets, they're visiting a page with farmhouse cabinets that feature sliding barn doors. So these are some different ways to optimize for long tail keywords. If I break it down into an individual ad group, so I've done a ton of examples about my farmhouse shelves ad group, so we'll just continue with that one. So we can see as we scroll down here a little bit, white farmhouse shelves with brackets. So perfect example of a long tail keyword. And then you can also just see things like farmhouse wooden shelves, farmhouse bathroom shelves, floating farmhouse shelves, and some of these really more popular keywords. You can make sure you're optimizing for them and you can split them out into separate ad groups. So I get a lot of questions about how many ad groups I should create. And really the answer is as many as possible. Anytime you have a landing page that can really match a keyword as best as possible. So if I say something like farmhouse shelf brackets, rather than sending people to a page that just features farmhouse shelves, I can separate out this keyword into a completely different ad group. And then you're going to be able to optimize for each of these keywords. And that's really what separates great advertising campaigns from average or good advertising campaigns is making sure that you're creating an experience for every single type of search term that someone is typing in. So now the last thing I want to show you is some examples about how you can find long tail keywords. So we're going to come back over here to the keyword planner now. So you can see this right here. Now, one of my favorite tools for finding long tail keywords is Uber suggest. So it's Neil Patel's tool. And if we come over here to Uber suggest, I just entered the keyword long tail keywords. And one of the things you can do is if you, rather than clicking on overview is clicking on keyword ideas here and it's gonna pull up 135 keyword ideas for this individual keyword. It's gonna show the search volume. 
so long tail keywords and then all of these below it are examples of long tail keywords so this right here is a short tail keyword even though it's long tail keywords is the keyword but we can see the search volume is pretty high for just long tail keywords in general and most of the time people are either looking for examples they're looking for tools they're looking for research so this is probably one of the best tools for finding long tail keywords because you can just enter any keyword up top here and it's going to pull that keyword and then it's going to pull a bunch of different long tail keywords that you can start optimizing for you can see search volume you can see cost per click averages um, it's also going to show you the google search engine results pages so some of the top pages related to this actual keyword um, so i highly recommend testing this tool uber suggest especially when you're looking for long tail keywords for individual pages so if you come back over to keyword ideas here and let's just say i'm looking for coastal bedroom furniture if you enter that in here, you're going to be able to find a bunch of different keywords that are related to that keyword, and you can really optimize each individual page for it. And then coming back over to Google Ads, you can make sure that as you're running your Google Ads campaigns, maybe you're running a Bing Ads campaign, you can make sure that you're creating an experience for every single type of search query that someone's going to type in that would target that keyword. So. If you have any questions about long tail keywords, make sure you leave them in the comment section. It's a pretty simple concept to understand. Um, there's no real rule about how many words need to be in the phrase. It's really just longer variations and subcategories of popular short tail keywords. Now there are some long tail keywords that get a lot of search volume. And if you can find those, you really wanna optimize for them because you're not gonna be competing with some of the top websites and businesses for all of these long tail keywords. So when you're looking at ranking in Google or driving more results from your Google ads campaigns, you really wanna optimize for these keywords and create the best possible user experience for people. And it's gonna help you create better solutions and it's gonna help you improve your conversion rate. So again, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.